And after that, we are going to listen to uh, our main speaker for this afternoon is Miss uh, Patricia Kelly from uh, Curtin University, Australia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's invite Miss Nur Fitrianti. Time is yours. Oke, okay, terima kasih ya, Sir. Kedengaran, Sir, suaranya? Uh, it's all, it's all Oke, okay. uh, terima kasih sekali lagi kami ucapkan dari Ellen Connect kepada, kesempatannya kepada Undri uh, untuk siang ini perkenalan singkat mengenai Ellen Connectnya akan disampaikan oleh Miss Meta. Pada Miss Meta dipersilakan. Terima kasih untuk semuanya. Selamat siang semuanya. Saya dari Ellen Connect akan memberikan perkenalan singkat mengenai dari Ellen. Boleh. Ini kita udah boleh share screen ya, Pak? Udah bisa, Oke. Okay. Sebentar. Apa kelihatan? Selamat siang semua, ini kita dari Adling. Mungkin sebelumnya kita udah pernah ketemu langsung dengan para bapak ibu secara offline. Waktu itu kita juga pernah berkunjung ke Unri. Tapi karena masa pandemi akhirnya kita hanya ketemu via online dulu. Dan mungkin sebagian dari para dosen atau para akademisi yang di Unri juga udah akrab ya sama Adling. Karena ada beberapa juga dari dosen yang pernah les di tempat kita. Nah untuk dari Adling sendiri itu kita juga sebenarnya adalah agen konsultasi pendidikan luar negeri dan dari jasa yang kita berikan itu ada 8 step yang kita sebut dengan Ad Easy Ad Steps. Yang pertama kita memberikan pelayanan free counseling di mana para bapak ibu sekalian jika ingin berkonsultasi mengenai universitas atau bahkan sampai biaya hidup dan hidup di luar negeri ketika mau melanjutkan studi ke luar negeri itu bisa melalui kita. Dan kemudian pada saat mau melanjutkan ke universitas pun kita juga ada kerjasama dengan beberapa bahkan ratusan ya universitas yang ada di luar negeri di delapan negara jadi Bapak Ibu sekalian bisa datang ke kita, misalnya ada universitas yang mau daftarin itu bisa mau kita. Dan akhirnya nanti pada saat mendaftarkan itu mendapatkan namanya over letter. Nah ketika mau mendapatkan over letter ini memang harus udah ada persyaratan dokumen ya, dokumen akademik. Dan kalau misalnya menggunakan beasiswa itu juga diperlukan seperti letter of guarantee yang dari pemberi beasiswanya. Jadi kita yang akan mendaftarkannya karena kita ini bekerja sama langsung dengan universitas, jadi kita yang diberikan akses untuk portal pendaftaran student. Jadi Bapak Ibu sekalian bisa tinggal memberikan dokumen-dokumen akademik yang diperlukan. Kemudian misalnya ada yang masih belum mencukupi IELTS-nya, terus ataupun ada yang ingin latihan soal atau simulasi itu juga bisa melalui Adling. Dan kita juga ada tes officialnya. Dan untuk jadwalnya sendiri di Adling itu kita sudah ada jadwal satu tahun penuh. Karena kita memang langsung bekerja sama dengan lembaga IELTS yang dari Jakarta. Makanya kalau Bapak Ibu sekalian nih misalnya mau mendaftar tesnya itu di bulan Juni atau misalnya sampai Desember itu kita udah ada jadwalnya. Jadi bisa langsung kontak ke, ke Adling. Kemudian ketika mau melanjutkan studi itu kita pasti perlu visa atau student pass. Nah, sebagai konsultasi keluar konsultan keluar negeri, kita pun juga akan membantu proses itu. Dan juga nggak hanya student visa, biasanya kalau misal PhD student kan membawa keluarga. Nah, itu juga akan kita bantu proses. Jadi, semuanya visa student maupun dependent visa itu juga bisa kita bantuin. Bahkan dari 
untuk akomodasi dan airport pickup itu juga kita akan bantuin tergantung dari Bapak Ibu sekalian misal mau mencari akomodasi range harganya berapa kemudian airport pickupnya juga bisa mau ngambil yang dari akomodasi atau biasanya beberapa universitas itu juga menawarkan airport pickup nah sebelum berangkat itu kita juga akan menyampaikan pre departure briefing selain dari adling biasanya universitas yang di luar negeri itu mereka juga mengadakan briefing online buat para student yang akan berangkat ke universitasnya nah ini nanti akan dikirim langsung ke email para student atau nanti kita juga akan infoin kalau misalnya studentnya belum mendapatkan email untuk join briefing online dari universitas tapi dari Adling sendiri juga akan memberikan informasi tersebut nah selanjutnya itu ada post departure services di sini biasanya paling banyak itu yang membutuhkannya kalau ada kerabat atau misalnya ada kendala mau ganti akomodasi atau misalnya mau ada kerabatnya yang mau berkunjung ketika bapak atau ibu sekalian studi di luar itu kita bisa bantu juga proses untuk membuat visa turis. Nah jadi itu 8 tahap yang kita berikan pelayanannya kepada para bapak ibu sekalian dan itu free of charge ya. Jadi Bapak Ibu hanya tinggal datang ke Adling yang bisa langsung via telepon juga atau misalnya mau langsung datang itu silakan dan ini tadi untuk kelas persiapan IELTS kita ada dibagi dua ada yang private sama grup dan durasinya itu ada yang 20 jam pertemuan dan 40 jam pertemuan. Nah, untuk informasi lebih lengkap bisa dicatat mungkin nanti atau misalnya langsung nanya melalui kita di nomor kontak kita yang ada di sini. Dan selanjutnya itu dari Adling sendiri kita sejauh ini ada kerjasamanya dengan Bank BCA terutama untuk para nasabah yang prioritas dan soliter. Keuntungannya ini adalah Ketika misal ada kerabat atau bapak ibu sekalian yang ingin menggunakan BCA soliter atau prioritasnya, itu bisa mendapatkan seperti cashbacknya sebesar 5 juta sampai 7 juta 550 ribu, di mana di dalam itu bisa mendapatkan gratis kelas IELTS dan tes IELTS. Nah, untuk info lebih lanjut, itu bisa hubungi rekan kita yang ada di nomor yang di PowerPoint, atas nama Miss Ilen dan emailnya juga ada di PowerPoint ini atau kalau misalnya mau lebih lanjut lagi bisa kontak melalui kita yang ada di pekan baru ini syarat-syaratnya dan terakhir kita juga udah pindah karena sebelumnya itu kantor Adling sendiri memang hampir 10 tahunan itu ada di Sumatera mungkin Bapak Ibu sekalian lebih familiar dulu Pernah ada yang datangnya di Jalan Sumatera, tapi sekarang per 21 September tahun lalu itu kita udah pindah di Jalan Ahmadiyani. Jadi bisa datang langsung kalau mau konsultasi, tapi kalau mau via telepon itu juga bisa melalui kontak kita yang ada di layar ini. Dan selain ada di Pekanbaru, ini beberapa kantor kita yang ada di Jakarta, ada juga di Bandung, di Medan, di Padang, dan sampai ke Papua juga ada kantor kita. Mungkin ada temannya atau kerabatnya juga yang sama dosen atau misalnya yang ingin melanjutkan studi itu bisa menghubungi kantor-kantor Adling di beberapa kota lainnya. Oke. Oke, itu sekilas singkat perkenalan dari Adling. Terima kasih Pak Afrianto untuk waktunya. Dan selanjutnya saya serahkan kepada Miss Patricia Kelly. Okay, thank you, Miss Meta. Miss Miss Nur Fitriani, do you want to add something, or is it enough? Is it enough, sir? All right. Okay, thank you again for Adling Connect International for introduction and uh, information about Adling Connect International. All right. So next, we are going to listen to Ibu Patricia Kelly. 
before we listen to her presentation, let me first introduce her. Uh, let me share screen with you. Okay. So our topic today is overview of the higher degree by research application process and it's going to be delivered by Ms. Patricia Kelly. And this is her short profile. Ms. Patricia, Ibu Patricia Kelly is currently in the country recruitment executive for a Christian university and having been in the international education industry for over 20 years now. And she holds extensive experience in student counseling, recruitment and partnership establishment. She has de she has dealt with many potential students and their parents, including those seeking for higher degree research study, and seen many differences over the years. She thinks highly of the importance of identifying one's interests and future plan prior to choosing study program. So she is the right person to listen to uh, in terms of asking for advice for a study overseas, everyone. So without further ado, uh, let's give a chance and screen to Ibu Patricia Kelly. Silakan Ibu. Right. Um, thank you very much, Pak Afrianto. And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, due to instability of my internet connection. So uh, when I present, I will um, turn on my camera if that is all right with you. So um, let me share my screen. Um, a second. All right. I hope all of you can see my screen. Um, give me a second, I need to turn off my camera. Yeah. All right, so uh, as I was introduced by uh, Afrianto uh, just now, so my name is Patricia Kelly. I am the in-country recruitment executive for Indonesia for Curtin University uh, in uh, Australia. Uh, today, I would like to uh, provide you um, basically a generic information, uh, uh, an overview of the higher degree re by research application process. So um, as you can see from my short bio, I don't have the, um, uh, the experience in terms of uh, doing research or taking a PhD, but uh, I have seen uh, over the years um, the, and counseled uh, many poten uh, potential um, uh, PhD students uh, wanting to uh, taking their degree um, in Australia or particularly in uh, Curtin University. So uh, I actually have uh, two main parts. So the first one, I will introduce you about Curtin University and where we are. And the second part will be the information for you, specifically for those of you interested in pursuing your PhD study. All right, before we begin, I will share you a video about Curtin Research. This is Kaya. She's curious about all she perceives. And soon she'll be taking her first steps into a future that Curtin Research is creating. By the time she's at school, she'll peer back 13 billion years to the birth of the first stars. She'll take a virtual tour of the moon, Mercury or Mars, and rock with the seismic waves of an asteroid collision. She'll understand precisely why the dinosaurs died and help ensure our native bees don't. She can use AI to see that the world gets the picture and AI will be looking out for her safety. Activated. By the time she can drive, she won't need to. By the time she can buy petrol, she won't need to. Realms of big data are at her fingertips. She has equal pay for equal work. 
equal choice, and an equal voice. A chosen industry is stronger, safer, smarter. Her first home is affordable, available, and with the faintest carbon footprint. Her medical tests are fast, painless, and precise. Treatment is targeted, effective, and side effect free. And she'll take recovery in her stride. This is Kaya. And this is how curtain research will impact her world. From the ancient to the imminent, for the aged and the infant, we will make tomorrow better. All right. Welcome to Curtin University. So uh, we are the largest university in Western Australia with about 56,000 uh, students in total. And um, within the numbers, uh, there are about 1,900 uh, higher degree research students and 40% of them um, are internationals. And basically our higher degree by research uh, uh, comprise in 80% uh, uh, doctoral as in PhD uh, and 20% uh, masters by research or master of philosophy. And Curtin University is also a member of the Australia Technology Network group of universities. So if you are familiar with the group of eight, uh, there is another group in Australia called ATN or Australia Technology Network. And uh, Curtin is one of the members. All right, and that's the, that photo is actually uh, the front look of Curtin University in uh, Perth. And this is where we are. So um, although we are an, an Australian university, but we are uh, located in five countries. Uh, aside from Australia, we are also um, uh, located in Singapore, uh, Miri, Sarawak, Malaysia, Dubai, and Mauritius. Uh, particularly for higher degree research programs, um, the availabilities uh, are only in uh, Perth as well as Miri Malaysia campus for now. Um, these are our current global rankings. So depending on which um, global rankings that you're looking at, uh, Indonesia predominantly uses QS World University rankings. And as you can see from 2020 to 2021, we have a big jump from, from 230 to 217. And uh, Curtin University is aiming for a premium, uh, premium university with high, uh, high quality of research. Therefore, we are more focusing on the academic ranking of world universities uh, because uh, it's more toward um, uh, evaluating the quality of research instead of um, a market survey which uh, usually influence the result of QS, all right? Um, recently, we also um, uh, nominated uh, with a five-star ratings by the Good Universities Guide 2021, making us the number one public university in Western Australia for graduate employment. So we are very proud of, of this achievement because uh, we maintain this for um, a few years already. And we have uh, five star ratings in the in the following, as you can see on your screen. And um, for those of you who don't know, Curtin University was born in 1967 as a polytechnic un, uh, institution. So back then, it, it, it was called Western Australia Institute of Technology. Until uh, 1987, we changed the, our status to university. So therefore, 70-80% of our uh, uh, study materials are um, uh, practical. Um, and then we continue to innovate and develop ourselves um, to meet the requirement of uh, industry. So I'll take you to visit uh, our campus in Perth. So that is the aerial photo of uh, our campus. It's a big university. Uh, it's 116 hectares um, and um, believe it or not, you may, if you can see my cursor, 
um, you see that uh, it may look like we already have so many buildings, but just next to, just right above the Curtin University in red, we are actually doing some of projects uh, and in some parts of the university as well. So developing uh, new facilities, uh, upgrading uh, our classes uh, and, uh, and facilities for students. And uh, the location uh, itself is surrounded by um, housing area. So if you can see the, those in green, they are our, on -campus, our current on-campus accommodation. Uh, we are building uh, new ones uh, inside the area of the campus here. And uh, we are surrounded by the housing area. So usually Indonesian students in particular, um, they, they may stay in the on-campus, but not all of them. So uh, usually they stay for one semester and then they move out and then they, they rent uh, a private accommodation around the campus. Or a few of them, they have, um, they have accommodation in the, in the city, CBD of Perth, yeah? Um, so it's a very nice uh, campus. And uh, if you want to, to check out our facilities, particularly uh, for our research, uh, you may welcome to uh, log in to that link for the virtual tour. I'm not gonna demonstrate uh, for you, uh, for today um, due to the time, uh, but uh, I think you may find it useful to get to know our campus and its facilities uh, related to your uh, future study. And uh, these are uh, some of our campus amenities. Uh, it, may, it may be the same with uh, uh, UNRI as well. Uh, perhaps the differences well, would be the technology attached to the facilities or the size of the facilities. Yeah. Uh, for example, we do have a, a bank uh, called Bank West Office Bank in, inside the campus. And uh, uh, we have a complete curtain stadium, well, except uh, the swimming pool. Um, we also have a multi faith uh, prayer room, including Mushola, uh, within the campus as well. And uh, our campus is a smoke-free zone. So for those of you who smoke, you need to get out from the campus area, uh, stand by the street, and do your smoking, and then come back. So that's how it is, yeah? Uh, and obviously free Wi-Fi uh, all around the campus area. Um, this is the one that I mentioned earlier. So we have uh, new projects going on. Uh, starting 2009, well, 18, 19 or so. Uh, so um, the COVID-19 slows, slows the uh, projects uh, down, but uh, we keep on going. So you will, if you decide to come and study at Curtin, you will uh, have, um, you will see the new facilities uh, as well within the area of the campus. Um, now, maybe it's not too familiar. Um, Perth, where is Perth or uh, where is it in Australia? How far is it in, from Jakarta or from Indonesia? Maybe some of you, if not all of you, know more of Melbourne or Sydney. So if you look at this map, Melbourne or Melbourne and Sydney and Brisbane, they, they are to, just next to the, the word Australia, so outside your screen, obviously. Uh, so you can see that uh, Perth is the, the closest Australian capital city from Jakarta, from Indonesia, in fact. Uh, and that is the look of uh, one, one area of the city of Perth. Uh, we call it uh, Elizabeth Key. Um, and uh, basically, uh, because of the close proximity, to Jakarta, about four to four and a half hours, or if you fly from Bali, it's three to three and a half hours. And the time zone is basically one hour ahead than Pekanbaru. So it's, it's the same with Bali. Um, because of the proximity, basically uh, some of our students, uh, if there is an urgent case or someone passed away of the, within the family, uh, or you need to, to come home for certain, for any particular reasons, you it's, it's very convenient for you to fly from Perth to um, Indonesia instead of if you are in uh, Melbourne or Sydney. 
uh, because Melbourne or Melbourne and Sydney is around about three to four hours different in terms of time zone. And then the flight will be around five, six hours, depending on the, um, uh, the wind, obviously. And uh, Perth is one of the top places to go and uh, one of the healthiest uh, city as well. If you see that photo, that is not my photo, but uh, the, the blue sky, uh, if the sun shines very bright or shines normally, that's how the sky will look like. Okay, uh, it doesn't happen at all, never happened in Jakarta in particular. Uh, so um, every time I come to Perth, I, I, am, I feel very healthy, much, much healthy um, than when I am in at home. So yeah, for you, for you, just for you to know, I am based in Jakarta. Um, and in terms of cost of living, uh, being one of the most affordable capital cities in the world, um, it depends on your lifestyle. Single, um, single student would be around about 1,000 to 1,500 Australian dollars per month. Uh, obviously, again, depending on your lifestyle, yeah? If you buy a um, uh, limited edition of sneakers once a month, then my budget, the budget that I gave you doesn't count, yeah? Uh, and as a student, you will get 40% discount on all public transport. That, that includes um, uh, trains, buses, and ferries. And if uh, you decide to come and study uh, your PhD in, in Curtin, uh, Western uh, Perth, Perth government uh, give uh, your children access for free public schooling. Okay, the, the age, the school age in Australia is five years old. So if, you're, if your child or children already are five and above, they, they, when they come with you, they need to go to school. All right. Um, so that is a little bit about Perth. Um, with um, programs, Curtin University has four faculties only. So unlike uh, universities in Indonesia, uh, majority, they will have more than 10 faculties. So for us, um, our faculty of business and law is uh, one of the top 1% of business school uh, worldwide. And uh, recently we received an accreditation uh, from Equis, uh, making us a top 1% of business schools worldwide, as well as triple accredited business schools in Western Australia. So we are very proud of this. And it is actually very important for our faculties and programs uh, being accredited by our professional bodies, um, making sure that all of graduates, all of our graduates uh, can work um, uh, in the industry, okay? These are the research institutes and centers. Uh, clusters and areas of research on the Faculty of Business and Law. Yeah, for you to have a look. And these all detailed information um, are available in our website. Our Faculty of Health Sciences is one of the largest and most comprehensive health schools in Australia. Uh, we have been educating more health professionals than any other Western Australian institution. Uh, our program have strong industry links uh, with uh, health, well, healthcare institutions, and uh, we we continue uh, to keep our ranking stable um, as um, uh, nationally uh, for clinical, preclinical, and health study. All right, and these are the um, research institutes, groups, as well as areas of research. All right, um, so I'm, I'm not going to go through it. Um, you may welcome to access uh, this uh, specific information in our website. Our Faculty of Humanities um, has three uh, fields of study. So design and build environment that includes architecture, media, creative arts and social inquiry uh, and education, okay? And these are the, the centers, the institutes, research groups, as well as areas of research. Okay, last one but not least is our Faculty of Science and Engineering, which is accredited by uh, the relevant professional bodies, 
uh, Engineers Australia, IKME for Chemical Engineering, Australian Institute of Food Science and Technology, as well as Australian Computer Society. And we have an extensive industry exposure as well as links. And uh, we spend quite a lot of money for uh, innovative uh, facilities um, to support our students, uh, all of our students, um, uh, to be able to uh, uh, get hands-on uh, materials when they study with us. Okay, and these are the institutes, the research institutes and centers, groups, as well as areas of research. All right, now we go down to the, ma the main information, which can be valid, I hope, will be valuable for you. Um, so first thing is you need to know the overview of the research degree path. So your path when you do your research degree. Yeah, uh, again, uh, like I mentioned in earlier, I am not going to talk uh, about all the milestones and re research proposal, how to write it, how to work um, on, uh, on research while, uh, while you do your PhD. I'm not going to that part. I am only uh, going to focus on the application process. Okay, your preparation uh, before you apply. But basically, understanding this path will, will help you uh, in, in, in planning, uh, in um, planning your uh, PhD study. Okay, as you can see, after you apply, you get, sub, you get um, accepted, uh, and then you, you come to Perth, and then you, you, will, you start your uh, PhD the first year, uh, we call it milestone one, the first milestone, candidacy, okay? And then you will experience milestone two, midterm, which is second and third year. Um, um, milestone three will be the pre-submission and then the submission of thesis, uh, including examination. So you will have the mile of three milestones plus the um, submission of thesis and examination before you graduate. Now, um, the... the one thing that I need to uh, mention is the first year. Um, if, if you study your PhD in Indonesia, you still need to take some classes. Yeah, so that, that's my understanding. So you will have some classes before you start your research. In Australia, day one onwards until you graduate, research all the way no classes whatsoever unless the graduate research school uh, think that you don't have su a sufficient um, uh, research background. Therefore, you may need to take one or two um, uh, units or classes before you enter your candidacy, your milestone uh, one, okay? Now, the first year, so, for, so just for you to know, when you introduce yourself to the potential supervisor, you exchange communications, etc. He or she will then ask you to change your research proposal. All right, that's done. Until then, he says, yes, I, 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 I will supervise you. When you start your first day in the university, for example, at Curtin, they will require you to um, revise uh, your research proposal totally to meet the requirement of candidacy process. So process candidacy, it's exactly like, well, it's similar to process maju sidang untuk skripsi or thesis um, sama. So the, you, need to, you need to actually um, um, uh, revise all your research proposal and then meet the requirement to um, to the candidacy exam or process candidacy itu. And then when you do um, uh, the candidacy, itu, um, you are not be accompanied by your supervisor. You will be on your own. And then the examiners will be from outside of your area 
outside Curtin University or or totally or basically people that you don't know. Okay, so unlike in Indonesia, uh, you will be accompanied by your promotor basically. Promotor anda at least satu akan duduk di dalam uh, untuk protect you from being quote unquote attack or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but in Australia, no chance. You'll be on your own. That goes the same with submission of thesis and examination for graduation on the fourth year. The same. All right. Uh, no one or your supervisor will not be in the room with you. So keep that in mind. Uh, so basically, uh, this, the, uh, the one on the right basically what you need to do um yeah but i'm not gonna uh, focus uh, on that uh now let's move on to uh what to prepare for you to before you apply yeah so um this is what you need to prepare depending on which university you're aiming to uh, because my personal suggestion kalau anda sangat tertarik untuk masuk ke Curtin University, as a PhD, potential PhD student, jangan hanya me menargetkan satu university. Okay. Uh, uh, yesterday, I, I mentioned, which is that this is my own belief, that PhD uh, period is basically, uh, to me, is a temporary marriage relationship. So basically three to four years, you need to have a very good uh, chemistry, very good relationship with your, with your supervisor. All right, so um, uh, you need to prepare uh, the two, three pages of research proposal. This is curtain um, requirement. Uh, some university may require you to only submit one page. So kalau orang Indonesia itu terbiasa menulis lebar, ya uh, sangat susah buat kit, uh, buat um, uh, orang Indonesia untuk disuruh menulis concise. So you need to learn how to do it. So um, I have met uh, potential students, uh, PhD students. Uh, they they ask and then I ask back, do you have a research proposal? Yes. How many pages? Thirty five. 25, 18, yeah? Um, and then when I say, oh, and then the person would then say, kenapa ibu, kurang? I said, harus dikurangi pak. Oh, berapa halaman? Jadi dua. Oh, then how is it possible for me menjadikan 35 jadi dua? Well, that will be your issue, okay? So, um. Two to three pages of research proposal exclude for Curtin University, exclude references. So let's say your references makes it on, uh, 10 pages. That's okay. So long that the research proposal is two to three pages. Okay. Plus the CV. And then obviously your transcript certificate of completion, as well as your IELTS. Now with CV, I need to uh, really stress this. Uh, for you for you to know CV-nya bukan untuk CV melamar pekerjaan it's totally different okay you need to showcase your research experience international conferences um, seminars international seminars uh, journals uh, any books that you have written uh, any research uh, that you have done uh, whether you are a team member a team member or a, a, a head of a team or uh, just doing it on your own, you need to mention that and give one small paragraph to explain what, what was it that you did, okay? Showcase your research experience, all right? And then predominantly Indonesian, um, students coming from Indonesia, 99% belum punya IELTS or TOEFL or PTE. That's why, uh, link pekan baru will be able to assist you in terms of preparations but i understand ibu bapa dosen are basically sibuk but if you really want yeah i'll tell i'll tell you what happened two or three pages done cv very good academic transcript apk outstanding 
And then ada beasiswa dari UNRI. I don't know. I'm just giving you example. Ya. Yeah? Beasiswa sudah ada. But you don't have the IELTS. Or if you do, tidak memenuhi, belum memenuhi persyaratan minimum. Then it will kind of um, affect your uh, plan. Ya. Yeah? So, uh, dua link yang tadi yang di layar anda, based, I will I will uh, uh, demonstrate that for you. But these are the important link. When you already have the research proposal CV and obviously you you should have the transcript and uh, certificate of completion minus the IELTS, for example, you 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 can start searching your potential soulmate. Remember, temporary marriage relationship. Find your soulmate, your own. Mr. Pa Afrianto cannot do that. I cannot do that. The team in Adling cannot do that. Why? Sama seperti Anda waktu bertemu dengan uh, pacar Anda yang sekarang sudah menjadi uh, istri atau suami. Yeah? If there is someone in the middle, that's it. You won't be able to marry him or her. Okay? So you need to start the relationship on your own. And in terms of uh, uh, because you do you will do research uh, you may be able to find a project in that particular link, yeah, the second link that I gave. Now, you have all the documents. What to do next? Didiamkan saja, ditaruh di lemari, or di laci meja kerja, or whatever. No, I know uh, Bapak Ibu dosen punya kewajiban untuk mengambil S3. There is no way you're being a lecturer without PhD degree, yeah? So, Write, then send. Don't just write and then keep it in the draft. Tidak dikirim. Write, then send an introduction email to the potential supervisor. Not to me. Yeah. Uh, to the potential supervisor. Now, I, like I mentioned yesterday, my session is actually very general and it looks very simple. But it basically affects uh, your um, your plan. Okay, it it looks very simple, but it may affect your plan to take your PhD uh, degree. Email address. Um, I have seen um, potential PhD students. Um, it's good that. Uh, let's say afrianto.daud at unri or riau.ac.id or patricia.kelly at gmail.com. Okay. Bear in mind, uh, some of the Australians can read Bahasa Indonesia, yeah, or then they understand Bahasa Indonesia. And I believe it, believe me, I have seen Ahmad Ganteng's. This is true, I've seen it. Ganteng zzz at yahoo.com. Okay, or Patricia Chantix with x um, at gmail.com. Or beautiful, beautiful Nur Fitriani or something like that, you know? So make sure if I were you as a lecturer, I am proud of UNRI. If I am a lecturer of UNRI, I am proud of where I work. So I use my work email to look professional. That shows that uh, you are professional, okay? Or sometimes, uh, saya tahu ac.id di Indonesia agak susah, uh, uh, apa nya, um, uh, servernya, yeah? Then you may welcome to use Yahoo or Gmail, okay? Just make sure if you use your ac.id, you make you make sure you have a backup email because I have I have dealt with uh, ac.id um, biasanya either tidak sampai or ada masuk ke spam yeah so keep that in mind and then subject of the email yeah subject of the email is you know if you write an email there is two cc bcc and subject when you write a subject don't just leave it blank that's for one that's that's bad if you leave it blank it's terrible if you only write phd it's even ter it's more ter it's terrible too so try to try to be clear and be professional phd 
um, potential PhD student dash topic whatever okay and uh, uh, I am sharing you the workshop that I had had done in the past um, uh, the the person actually I I in that workshop I made them write an email to me as a professor Patricia Kelly all right and then one of the one of the participants put the subject looking for supervisor would you like to be my supervisor tanda tanya okay it's to me it sounds like would you like to be my husband and then i straight away say no nope, delete okay try to well you are professional so be professional okay mention the topic and the subject okay make them interest interested in you kan kesan pertama menentukan first impression last so make that first impression counts kalau malas-malas ya yang baca akan malas juga okay if if you respect if you respect uh, other people they will respect you back something like that okay so that's for the subject naming of the attached document i've seen this a lot and it's ongoing yeah jadi uh, let's say uh, you call your husband pa uh, kemarin kan uh, ada di map yang hijau uh, ijazah ijazah aku can you take bisa ambil foto can you take photo and send it to me because i need to do this uh, application for my phd okay and then your husband takes the photo and then send it to you via whatsapp and then you just attach it as it is with the name of the documents we are zero zero one two three five six seven eight yeah and that's not good at all and also if if you, the thing is now we don't need a scanner machine yeah uh the photo the the your smartphones can do everything for you kalau mau ambil foto make sure that Edgesnya, pinggirnya itu rapi. Don't all of a sudden you send a, a ijazah with the Hello Kitty of your bed sheet, yeah, spray tempat tidur itu kelihatan. Uh, I've seen that. Okay, believe me on, believe me. I'm I'm not joking. All right. So make sure. Let's say you take photo of that doc document, then to list um, certificate of completion, bachelor. Uh, in English or and then in Bahasa Indonesia or something like that. You need to name it appropriately. Remember, you are busy lecturers. They are, your potential supervisors are also busy researchers and lecturers as well. So try to understand the position, okay? And then email content. Now, this this i have an example as well i just don't have the the proper example but uh, don't just attach yeah and then topic on on the subject so you put topic on the subject and then attach a document some some way uh, blah 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 some uh, ijasa or whatever and then the email contact um i am seeking for uh, i look for a uh, supervisor uh, thank you. Please let me know. Thank you. Or something like that. No, you need to have dear Professor Afrianto or Professor Daud, something like that. Okay. I'm not trying to pick on you, yeah, but Afrianto, but it's easy to it's easy to just give example. Um so it's dear like dear Professor Afrianto, my name is Patricia Kelly. And I am planning to take my PhD program at Curtin University or whichever university you're aiming for. Yeah, um, I, I am planning to do research on a topic X, blah, blah, blah. I have uh, reviewed your bio and based on your expertise, particularly for blah, 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 as in specific expertise that you found uh will 
will benefit me a lot or will benefit me if um, you uh, can be my supervisor. Currently, I don't have the IELTS score as yet, but I am, uh, I am uh, doing a preparation and planning to take the test in 15th of April, 2021. I would appreciate your time and effort in reviewing my research proposal. I, and uh, it would be very, uh, it would be very much appreciated if you could provide me with feedback and I am happy to discuss further if anything is required to be revised. Yeah, Jadi, you, you need to have a dear professor what? Or in Australia, it's, it's, it's ba basically you don't need to use professor, it's okay. Dear Afrianto or something like that. Dear Patricia, Not, they don't, they don't, they won't feel bad about that, okay? And then your opening, your introduction, just a small introduction with your topic. And then uh, make sure that you, make sure that he or she knows that you have read their bio, okay? And then you make sure to explain, remember, tadi saya sampaikan 99% potential PhD student itu belum punya IELTS or TOEFL, yeah? So you need to, show them to tell them that you have a plan to take IELTS when okay and then at the end of it before you say bye bye or thank you yeah uh, you need to actually mention that you are open for your discussion as a researcher you need to be flexible someone the potential supervisor asks you to revise you need to revise okay Bukali, if you sorry yeah? can i interrupt you uh two minutes more okay uh, yeah okay thank you yeah, thank you. So uh, that's basically the email contact uh, content. And then the signature will be um, uh, mentioning a Patricia Kelly, uh, lecturer at UNRI um, Universitas Riau. Okay, use your signature. Don't just say thank you. Okay. And then when you send, obviously you need to do some follow up. Uh, give two, three weeks or so, and then you do a follow up. Now, usually you don't get a response. Now, what happened if you don't get a response? You send, like, you resend what you said, okay? Or you copy paste what you have you have sent and then make a new email. If I were you, I resend, I copy paste, but uh, at um, at the bottom of it, that's my history, okay? And then you may get a response, but like this. Sorry, I am full. I will be on leave. What happened if you get this response? Majority of, of uh, potential students will then just be quiet, not doing anything or cry or get angry. If I were you, I will reply and say, thank you, uh, Professor uh, Daud, uh, for your time and uh, uh, effort to review my research proposal. I understand your situation. Um, it would be great if you could recommend me or recommend uh, 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 fe your fellow researcher um, based on my uh, research. Okay, respond straight away. And if you get this response, the last one, basically that, that makes you happy. So you can start the electronic application. Yeah. So I think that is uh, basically it. I will end my uh, session with a video. Feels like change is never going to come. Like it's some distant, faraway place. I say that when enough of us believe real change is possible, it's already begun. Patients are being treated from thousands of kilometres away. DNA is being extracted from our ocean to protect threatened coral ecosystems. Satellites are being launched that you can hold in the palm of your hand. In a world seeking equality, we're using research to help close the gender gap and provide greater opportunities for all. John Curtin believed that true change begins with education. So if you're ready for change, we're ready for you.
Join us. Change is here. Curtin University. All right. So if you're ready for change, we're ready for you. So this okay. is my uh, email address uh, for you. If any of you have uh, um, uh, any questions after this. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Pa Afrianto. Thank you, Bo Patricia. Thank you again for your very informative session, especially about uh, Perth, about Curtin University, the process of application for PhD students, as well as uh, technical things about email, yeah, email emailing. I, we have, I think, the term for the email address that you just mentioned, the cantik one and the ganteng one. We call it ally email address. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, like that will it. be the terminology. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone, I think we have about 10 minutes uh, for a QA session. So you can unmute your audio. If you have questions, you can speak directly to Ibu Patricia, or you can write your questions in our chat box as well. So I can read it for you. Okay, everyone. So feel free to raise your hand. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, Ibu. Yeah, you can now, I don't know, I can't see your name. You can now speak. International Affair from Zoom International Affair of Universal. Yes, go ahead, Bu. Unmute, please unmute the audio first. Pahendra, can you please help? Unmute, unmute the audio. Okay. Hello? Hello? Or Pro Pahendra, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe we can sit here. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I bahasa? Yeah, yeah, sure. Bu, bu, bu uh, uh, nama saya Bunga uh, tertarik untuk ke question ini question ini tersebut tadi udah lihat websitenya uh, di situ ada PSD for public police untuk kebijakan publik di situ uh, dengan waktu 4 tahun saya rasa itu cukup singkat by research Uh, jadi saya tertarik untuk mencoba ke sana. Yang jadi pertanyaan pertamanya adalah uh, untuk menghubungi supervisornya. Di sana saya belum menemukan link email atau nama-nama uh, profesor yang bisa saya hubungi seperti itu. Oke. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly I think one of the points that Bu Patricia would uh, get this book. Alright. Uh, thank you. Uh, boleh minta tolong untuk di mute dulu. Please, please unmute. Uh, please mute the audio there, everyone. Uh, you, you can mute by yourself. No, no, no. No, I mean um, international affairsnya boleh mute dulu because I have a back sound. Okay, thank you. Um, so, um, yeah, that's actually a good question. I'm gonna demonstrate the quickly. Uh, do the timing if I can find it somewhere. Give me a second. Um, uh, okay, so um, let me type, I hope you can see my screen. So let me type from the very beginning. Yeah, so basically this is the link that I have given you in the, in the slide. So research.curtain.edu.au. Okay, so you scroll down and then ini ada a search uh, box. For example, um, kalau tadi saya tidak salah dengar public policy. I think so. So let's just type public policy or anda uh, saya sarankan untuk pakai um, uh, keywords ya. Yeah? Uh, jadi um, ini karena saya tidak tahu titlenya, I just uh, use public policy. And then you click search. 
And then you will see 955 result, result. Don't get too excited about this because basically ini adalah all. Jadi kalau saya turun ke bawah, Anda bisa lihat, if you can see my cursor, ini kan ada all, researchers, supervisors, and news and events. If you want to find your soulmate, click supervisors dulu because all these supervisors, all these people under supervisors, uh, basically uh, um, uh, they have students under them. Kalau researchers basically are academics or professors, but not necessarily they uh, have students uh, under them. Okay, so we click supervisor, um, and then we will get seventy-two results. Yeah. So, for example, um, public policy. I can't find public policy. Where is my? This is population of health. Uh, all of them are okay. I just I just uh, click Dr. Paul Koshi. Okay, this is just an example. Okay, uh, there, Dr. Paul Koshi, research fellow, disciplines. One of them will be public policy. Okay, so this is just an example. I. Uh, I don't have specific. Here you see the introduction, research interest, and then publication. Okay, even even their publication, you can give it a click and read. Okay, uh, that's what researchers do. Read, write, read, write. That's all you do, yeah. And this is the email address. Um, tadi ibu menanyakan dari mana dapat emailnya ini. Jadi caranya tadi, research.curtin.edu.au, you go straight to the search uh, box, type the keywords, and then you go to supervisors and find find the, the, the right one. If you think that um, maybe you would like to see the researchers, that's fine too. You, you can go ahead and click them. But first, you focus on supervisors. Yeah, and then you will see all the email address inside the uh, bio. Okay, hope that helps. Kasih. Thank you, Bu uh, Patricia. Hope it's clear. Uh, Ibu, I don't, sorry, I forgot the name of the, uh, the questioner. Uh, hopefully it answered your question, Ibu. Baik, Bapak Ibu, uh, I believe there will be more questions from you, uh, but we are limited of time, so uh, we have to end the session. I'm sorry, but if you still have um, many questions, uh, Bu Kelly is ready for you. You got her email address already, or you can simply go to at Link Connect International in Jalan Ahmad Yani and Bu Fitri, Bu Meta, and some other staff there are ready to answer all questions you have for free. Okay, so yeah, welcome to Deakin University one day. Yeah, that's one of uh, a good choices for many reasons. Yeah, in terms of location, uh, cost of living, and also the quality of education in Deakin University. So again, Bu Patricia and team, on behalf of Universitas Ria, we thank you very much for your time, your information, and your session. We really appreciate your time. Yeah. All the Thank best. you, Pa Afrianto. You. Thank you, everyone. Stay Thank safe you. and healthy. Bye. Yeah. You too. Thank you, Bye. Patricia. Thank and that's you, the sir. end of the session. This, this this is the end of the session. And thank you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.